Meantime, we are seeing new footage from Seattle police this morning showing the deadly shooting of a man in White Center. Yeah, police say they were forced to fire while serving a search warrant at the suspect's home Thursday night. So take a look at this. In this dash cam footage, you can see the 22-year-old coming out of the home. Uh, and then they used a PA system to tell the man to come out and surrender. Police say you can see him on the video come out with a handgun. They ordered him to drop it, and then this happened. He still got the gun. Drop the gun! The man was shot and later died from his injuries. And in the footage you can see here, SPD highlighting where the gun is in the man's hand. They say he was still pointing the weapon at the officers even when he was on the ground. We have decided to blur that part of the footage out due to the sensitive nature here. And police say they were originally on scene to serve a warrant in a Seattle homicide case. And witnesses tell us what they saw as a confrontation turned deadly. I'm watching away, and then all of a sudden more and more coming, and then I heard him yelling at something down there, and then all that popping went off, about eight shots. I think it had to be about eight at least. And then we were in repetition, you know, boom, 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 you know, kind of thing. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> yeah, it is unsettling in that part. The officers involved in this shooting have been placed on paid leave while the investigation is ongoing. And officers won't uh, release the details on what murder case they were serving a warrant on until they confirm the identity of the man that was shot.